And I love to watch my flowers grow. And when they start blooming and growing, I just look at them and tell everybody about what I've done. Amen. <laughs> but you see, God has some plant food. And the Bible says, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. Am I right about it? That's our food, spiritual food. And if you need some watering, hello somebody. There's a garden of prayer where we go to. Well, Jesus meets us there. Amen. He knows how to refresh us and revive us. Amen. My little flowers sometimes when the sun was too strong. All I needed to do was wait till the sun go down just a little bit. Because you don't want to put water in your flowers while the sun is at its strength. Because the water get hot too. So you have to either take them out of the, out of the sun, put them in the shade. And when the sun is not so hot, you water those flowers. Right. Amen, somebody. Amen. Amen. God know how to take us out of heat. <laughs> and put us in the shade. Amen. And revive us again. Amen. Somebody say, just one word from him. All right. Just one word from him makes all the difference. Amen. We could have been going through for a month of times. Mm -hmm. all right. But when he comes on the scene, because the Bible says, he says, when you call me, I will answer you. Amen. He said, when you are crying, I will say, here am I. Amen. So just one word from him makes all the difference amen. in the world. Can I get an amen? Amen. amen? amen. It'll help us to go a little further. Yes. I'm so Loved ones, reading your Bible, studying the Word of God after you've been born again. And I have to, I have to make this point. Because if you haven't been born again, it doesn't make sense to you. Right. You, you just won't get it. Mm -hmm. But when you've been born again, you need to start reading that word yeah. and right. studying that word. Mm -hmm. Because that's the food for your soul. Yes. Amen. The Bible says, Jesus says, sanctify them through thy word. Mm -hmm. Thy true. word is truth. Amen. And so we're renewed in the spirit of our mind by the word of God. All right. The Bible says, Abraham believed God. He believed God's word. He took him at his word. Amen. And when he believed God, it was counted unto him as Amen. righteousness. Amen. And so when you are allowing the word of God to be engrafted into you, mm -hmm. hallelujah, somebody. Mm -hmm. You are allowing the righteousness of God to come into your being. And so when he does split that sky, we won't be found naked. But we'll have on robes of righteousness. That's what the word of God will do for you. Isaiah 55, 9 through 11. Can I get you to read for me, Micah? Yeah. Isaiah 55, 9 through 11? Yes, read in the microphone. Okay. <laughs> Isaiah 55, 9 through 11. Mm -hmm. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, yeah. so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. Yeah. For as the rain cometh down, and the snow from heaven, and returneth not hither, but watereth the earth, and maketh it bring forth in bud, that it may give seed to the sower and bread to the eater. Yeah. 
So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. Thank you. So the Lord is letting us know through his word that the word I send to you, just like the rain comes down and, and it waters the earth, that's the way my word is going to be to you. Amen. Just like seed to the soil and bread to the eater, that's the way my word is going to be to you. Amen. Everybody should have shouted on that. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Because it's the word of God that brings about the change and the maturity and the growth yeah, in Jesus Christ. Right. When we let him have his way. Amen. And it's Christ who sits as a refiner and a purifier. Amen. That's why we go to church. Amen. We live in day and time now here they got drive through church. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> but we need to allow God to have his way through his word. When we have given ourselves to God, God has to clean us up. And he already saved you and forgave you. But he has to change your mindset on how you handle things and situations. Amen. 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 And it's God who teaches us how to do that. And Moses says, teach us how what to number our days. And that's why he said Jesus. Sometimes we pray for God to, to give us patience. Amen. <laughs> I mean, you don't want to pray that. <laughs> and he sends demanding people our way yes. who test us to the limit. Yes. Because suffering produces perseverance. Amen. See, we don't go through nothing. We just won't go to heaven. <laughs> don't want to go through nothing. We just won't go to heaven. Right. Yeah, true. The old people say you need to take time to be holy. Amen. We pray for a submissive spirit. Mm. And God sends suffering again. Mm. But we learn to be obedient the same way Christ learned obedience from what he suffered. Amen. You know you're not humble. <laughs> you know you don't want nobody telling you what to do. Right. <laughs> and that's why it hurts so bad. Yeah. You want to get back, talk back, Amen. and let somebody know you know something. Uh, all right. yeah. And your, your test is going to keep on coming until uh, you learn to obey God. Amen. We pray to be unselfish. God gives us opportunity to sacrifice by placing other people's needs first and by laying down our lives for other believers. God sent that test. And it might have been your last $10. Amen. Amen. Or maybe it was that big lump sum you had and saved up for something. All right. <laughs> God troubled your mind because that last, that $200 you saved that you had set to the side, you didn't need it right now, but you knew you wanted to do something great with it mm -hmm. for yourself. <laughs> And then you hear news about a brother and sister. They need two hundred more dollars. <laughs> All right, amen. To pay their mortgage. Oh, amen. 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 You see, God presents you the opportunity, <laughs> and you. I say this up. Uh, I don't think he want me to. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> See, God knows how to grow us. Yes, he does. Amen. He knows how to grow us. The rich man that Lazarus sat by his gate, 